Our small island continues to reveal an epic history. We can be there for every exciting moment of discovery. An extraordinary monument as old as Stonehenge. It's been a real roller coaster. A vast hoard of ancient coins. Everyone is hiding their money. And a radically different view of our barbarian ancestors. You've had a facial reconstruction done. Where the very latest discoveries are changing history. Welcome to Digging for Britain. Coming soon on BBC Four. The centenary of the armistice that ended the First World War has been remembered across Britain and Europe. Prince Charles led tributes to the nation's war dead on behalf of the Queen. In Paris, world leaders put aside their differences to unite in remembrance. While here, political and military leaders were joined by thousands of members of the public, giving their thanks to the fallen. And a unique tribute to the victims of the war, their images etched in sand along Britain's coastline. Good afternoon. The 100th anniversary of the armistice that ended the First World War has been commemorated in Britain and Europe. Prince Charles led the tributes to the nation's war dead, laying a wreath at the Cenotaph in London on behalf of the Queen. With the Prime Minister, political leaders and for the first time the President of Germany all in attendance. In Paris around... That's it. There's more throughout the evening on the BBC News Channel, and I'll be back with the late news at 10.30. Now on BBC One, it's time for all the news where you are. Bye for now. Our small island continues to reveal an epic history. We can be there for every exciting moment of discovery. An extraordinary monument as old as Stonehenge. It's been a real roller coaster. A vast hoard of ancient coins. Everyone is hiding their money. And a radically different view of our barbarian ancestors. You've had a facial reconstruction done. Where the very latest discoveries are changing history. Welcome to Digging for Britain. Coming soon on BBC Four. Stories set to shape the news agenda. Headlines freshly written. Original perspectives on the day's unfolding narratives. See the bigger picture as it emerges. The papers, tonight at 10.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel. Good evening, I'm Simon McCoy at the Cenotaph. The headlines are just after five. Prince Charles leads the tributes on the armistice centenary, laying a wreath at the Cenotaph on behalf of the Queen, followed by senior politicians, including the German president. 
In Paris, world leaders put aside their differences to unite in remembrance. Long live peace among peoples and states. Long live the free nations of the world. Long live friendship among peoples. Long live France. And a unique tribute to victims of the war, their images etched in sand along Britain's coastline. And on the quest of Iraq, the other stories here on BBC News. 25 people are now known to have died in wildfires in Northern California. Firefighters are still trying to bring them under control. And two of the four people who died in a crash in Sheffield are named as Adnan Ashraf Jiral and his one-year-old son, Osman. Good evening from the Cenotaph in Whitehall in London, where war veterans have taken part in a procession past this Cenotaph to mark the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War. Earlier, the Prince of Wales and senior politicians laid wreaths at the monument, watched by the Queen and other members of the royal family. Millions of people across the United Kingdom observed a two-minute silence. Our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, looks back at the day 100 years ago when the guns fell silent. The cenotaph this morning, as the nation prepared to mark the moment from a century ago 